Anything? Yeah. Just yeah. if you could introduce yourself, Janardhan, JavaScript, meetups. Meetup. Maybe I should come beside you of the light. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Hey, I am Janardhan. Uh, I am the co-founder of JavaScript Meetup. Uh, I have in India, all India. In India, it's Pan India. We have a presence of uh, 12,000 uh, community members. Wow. Uh, 13 cities across the world. Not limited, though we started as a JavaScript uh, Meetup Bangalore. But we pretty much have presence and participation across. Bangalore was the first in the world? Uh, no, we had a lot more. Okay. But uh, we started in Bangalore okay. and then we expanded. Yeah. And in India, where all they are? Uh, we have in Pune, we have people from Delhi, we have people from San Francisco and a couple of other cities that we have. Yeah. So, uh, what's the agenda for a meetup? Is it loose and free flowing or do you have talks and how often do you meet? Yeah, uh, we have been meeting for the, we started off in December 2015. Uh, but thanks to Open Source India, this is where the conceptualization idea happened. I, see. Uh, I got a mentor who was already running a Java meetup. Where? Okay, uh, Java meetup uh, in Bangalore, Bangalore, in Bangalore, and uh, he mentioned that you know, hey, why don't you start a JavaScript meetup? Uh, I said there are already enough meetups, and why do we need to start yet another one? Uh, what is the value of that? Yeah. He just said, don't worry about what you want to do, but if you have a philosophy behind, just go ahead and start. So that, how is it different? Okay, so a couple of things that are different are it's a purely community driven by what I mean community driven is it is JavaScript by the language itself uh, unlike other languages like say Oracle or you know having backing Java similarly Go Lang being backed by others JavaScript doesn't have a sponsor by itself it is it is uh, by the pure merit of the language or the demerits of the language it is surviving for so long and it has served the verb and it's continuously evolving. Uh, the primary reason for me to start JavaScript and web development community is uh, uh, there is a lot of tribal knowledge. Uh, many of the frameworks come, it's fast evolving compared to the established languages like say, C programming. Uh, you learn C once for 20 years, you are pretty much secure. But in a web developer community, you have to keep on upgrading because the needs are changing and the developers also have to adapt. A uh, lot of frameworks which claim to be once you use the framework, your life is a cakewalk. That doesn't normally happen. So the tribal knowledge of hey, you try this, you try a combination. It is a must. So I realized the need. I was a web developer and programmer for first 15 years. I realized that it is not a cakewalk. Initially, I thought uh, once the browsers, uh, you know, start having the common standard, the life is very beautiful. But that is not the case. I saw that even if the standardization happened, we don't need G to use jQuery now, fortunately. But still, there are a lot more challenges we need to solve. So as yeah. far as getting the community getting volunteers is concerned what are the challenges you face um, one thing is uh, challenges are community members sometimes there are free floating uh, there's a good number of people though we have around 12,000 members across the active members just to the statistic from the meetup is somewhere between 400 to 500 who are active users means who reach out to the community and then see what is happening uh, otherwise otherwise the challenge is uh, people are di spread across multiple but when it comes to contributions are giving back to community there is a very very less part which so may be 0.01 percent is what they contribute back to. Is uh, India's contribution to JavaScript getting noticed? Is it visible? Is it significant or small still? Uh, from from our meetups, I do not have a measure of how the contributions are. What we have been successful is, uh, there are two areas where it is vastly, vastly popular. Uh, one area is the, uh, whenever we talk about a framework, let's say Angular or anything, there is a huge participation. Okay. The second biggest, rather the bigger than Angular is, uh, how to attend interviews of web developers. So there I seem see. to be a community who is focused on uh, how do I get my next job. That seemed to be the most popular topic uh, wherever we had. Which is a genuine concern in India. You know, does community translate into jobs? Uh, do you think? So? Yes, yes. So what we have seen is that there is a good amount of participation. The way we have modeled for encouraging participation, uh, there, was a, there were a few events we conducted where uh, the participants, they play the role of interviewer in one round and they I play see. the role of the other one. So that way people who are learning, they know a lot of tricks in their mind, they ask those questions, they get clarification, they get the feedback. So we were able to develop that kind of interest and community activity there. Last question, how often do you all meet? What is the time taken? Uh, yeah. How many people come? Okay. Uh, the yeah. economics of it, uh, yeah. is it sponsored? Do you all raise your own money? Yeah. Do you need money? Yeah. So, so we have we are a not-for-profit uh, community, completely driven with no sponsorship nor association with any framework. So that is why we called it pure JavaScript meetup, not Angular meetup or you know React meetup. 
uh, we felt that JavaScript itself will survive for long. The economics of it are, uh, we don't have any funding, we look for sponsors, but uh, we have been running a meetup on average once every month and uh, Bangalore has been kind to, the companies have been kind to offer a space whenever we need it. So not a single month went where we, we wanted to do a meetup and we didn't have a space. Yeah. Very interesting. <laughs> All the best. Thank, Thank you. you.